Hey you guys, welcome back to another reading, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I hope y'all are doing blessed and well. I'm picking up on a um energy of somebody that's just down for something, could have lost somebody, I don't know, something could have not worked out the way you thought it, um or you know something here it's something about somebody and i can feel whatever this is empathy and love you did reach here it's not a night amanda solomon simon 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 jerry frank charlie evelyn meredith kim ashley justin Something about Jamaica is significant as well. I just feel like um, whatever this is that you're feeling is just, <clears throat> I feel like you're just going through a shift, right? And you just got to have patience. Whatever this is, you just got to have patience with it, okay? For a masculine, just take your time and get through something. Loneliness, perseverance. It's like you're on this journey by yourself, and I get it. I truly do. But you have to pipe yourself up is what I heard. You just got to pipe yourself up. You got to keep going. Like, I can do it. You can do it. I heard, say your name. Speak life into yourself. Shanita, you can do it. Shanita, you can do it like that. Like, I'm speaking to myself. Speaking good things, positive things over myself. You need to speak things over yourself because I feel like you can do it. It's a need for you to have a friend or something. And I know these days people are not trustworthy. And if you have a real issue with trusting people simply because anybody you've ever trusted, they have screwed you over in some kind of way. And it's like somebody tries to make a mockery out of your struggle or something like that. And they think that it's funny. Purpose here. I know what I am here to do. Just be grateful for the truth. Because somebody is about to definitely be living in regret because they're truly guilty of something. I keep picking up on this energy of just loved ones, family members, friends, whomever these people are. But it's like they're from your past, but they're trying to remain relevant. They're trying to, it's, it's like somebody is trying to remain, it's my name, Jermaine, Tremaine. They're trying to remain. Tremelon, do you be watching me? They be trying to remain in y'all life. Accept this trust. I am learning to accept that. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. That serenity energy. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. You're always right on target with something. Yeah, somebody definitely just lost someone. Death card. And I get it. You're grieving or something like that or something has just completely ended and somebody does not know where they're going. But you will have success. It's clear as day. You are successful. The, the most amazing part about being on a spiritual journey, bro, any journey in life, it should be in the spirit because when you're on your journey, you're finding yourself, you're knowing who you are in the spirit. The best thing about it is when you don't know what's going on. That's how you know. Like when you are like, I want you to embrace the fact that you don't really know anything, bro. Don't none of us know anything, shawty. And that's just the honest truth, bro. We really, truly don't know. I don't care how much knowledge you've accumulated out the years or whatever the case may be. You don't know. You never know what's going to happen. It doesn't matter how psychic you are or whatever the case may be. You just don't know. You don't know when things are going to happen. Like you got some people that are like right on target. Like they can predict things like literally in a certain time frame how something happens or how it goes. But it's always something like, dang, you, you had everything down, but this one thing happened too. Nobody is all the way 100% knowing what is going on, especially when the Most High God is involved, which he's involved in everything. What I said, something about bubble tea is significant as well. Bubble guppies, bubble yum, bubble guts, bubble coats. It's something about bubbles. 
it's freedom here. I feel like what you lack is clarity. I don't feel like it's anything other than lacking clarity here for you. And you got this envy card. Ugh. Because what I'm picking up on, bro, you are not a perfect person. You're just not. And somebody just feels like you're perfect. You're, you get everything you want. Oh, well, I feel like you have been oppressed. What I said. And if the Most High God chooses to, to bless you with something, why is that somebody's job to come in and block it for you? There are so many thieves in this energy, bro. I'm so sick of it and tired of these people creating illusions. And it be people that are in positions that they're supposed to be helping people. You got, I told y'all it's a judge that's literally going through bad karma, bro. You got people like that that sit on a bench that got the right to be able to call certain things into actions to approve and deny certain things. And these people go along with certain criminal activities for money, for a paycheck, for a, a shoot, a lot of them blackmail. These people got so much skeletons in their dang on closet. They can decorate everybody yard for Halloween. What I said. They could put a skeleton in everybody yard on the block with all this going on in their past. And they may have been trying to cover that up, but it seemed like this person truly didn't want to do you dirty. They just had to because of what was on the line for them. What was at stake for them? But see, these people ain't never been A1, bruh, ever. They have never been in the upright. And see, this judge or whoever this is, they could have been in the upright in the beginning. But then along the line of their career or something, they just became corrupt. And it's just, I mean, life happens to people, bro. You just never know. That's what I'm saying. People say, oh, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do that. I mean, these people try to bring some stuff to you, threatening your family or whatever the case may be. You just never know what you may do. What I said. Somebody lost the key to their Tesla. Wow, that's not good. New life. Or if you drive a Tesla, you need to definitely be careful where you have your key. Somebody needs to be careful where their phone, their personal, so your personal belongings. Make sure you keep it on your person is what I heard. Make sure you keep yourself on you. So obviously you're out doing something. I'm saying somebody out. You need to make sure that you keep your stuff with you. Don't tell nobody, hey, watch my purse, watch my drink, watch my nothing. Straight up. It's some chaos and conflict going on here. It's just time to go because something is not for you. And that's the truth of real fam masculine. I'm just trying to tell you what the vibes is right here, bruh. Straight up. I'm just trying to tell you what the vibes is, bruh. Because a lot of y'all are... It's, it's like somebody here is on the verge of giving up because it seems like ain't nothing working out or... You know, everybody's lying. You're finding out so many things about your friends and your family. A change in the wind, unfinished symphony. I mean, it is what it is. That's them. That's not who you are, though. That's what I'm saying. You don't let the actions of other people dictate who you are because they did something to you. You're wondering, why me? Why me? I'm a bad person. No, 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 no. Those were those people's actions. It has nothing to do with you. It may have affected you emotionally. Could some of you all even physically here? We the drama, the plots, the plans, the schemes that these people have done, chaos and conflict and breathe. These people have done so much things to you. You would think that you are worthless or something like like the like if, if something was written on paper and you seen all of the stuff that these people have done to you and the things that you've done to them. You would think that you are just a horrible person that needs to be hated. But there is absolutely no reason. You don't blame yourself for the actions of others. Because you can't make nobody else act. You cannot control what people do. You just can't. No place like home. Here we go with people worrying about what you're doing inside of your home. Bro, there's so many witches and warlocks in this energy. It's crazy. They come in between worlds and they just do too much, bro. Here and now. Why is this always coming up, Shanita? Because these people are always in your business. Me included. Every day. It's a new retarded fool in my energy trying to play games and they get taught lessons every day same for y'all every single day it's just non-stop it's non-stop and it's from different areas in your life a lot of y'all your, your family is stealing from you you got people exes that can't get over you you got your exes karmic that can't get over you because they can't compete you got people that want your gifts. You got people that you work with that don't like you. I mean, you just, it's like you getting it from every angle. 
you getting it from every single angle, but God is here saying, nah, bro. I equipped you with more than that. I, I taught you better than that. I keep telling you guys, bro, do not turn into these people. And I don't care. Bro, I don't care what nobody may do to you, bro. Do not ever turn into these people. Feeling like when something ain't going your way, all you need to do is go and cast a spell. And take something from someone else or something like that. Bro, even if you got pure intentions trying to do spell work for yourself, you can still mess around and lose something. You got to be careful with what you out here doing, bro. Only God, only he, only he, bro. That's what I'm saying right here, fellow masculine. I'm just telling you what I know because it worked. Happy, happy. Trusting in God works. Letting God fight your battles works, bro. I don't care what nobody on this platform be talking about. Send those spell work on folks and get them back and all of that. If that's what you want, be on that. But don't come over here with that energy. I don't believe in that. I seen 11-11. I just don't. I feel like God is just fine. I feel like my dad does a great job. Now, this is coming from a person that I've been attacked since I was a child, bro. And I'm here and I'm good. I have many different testimonies about how I literally had no pulse. I was dead. Literally. And I came back. It's a, a bro, I can tell you a thousand stories a thousand different times where God has literally saved my life. And I can guarantee you, he's doing the same exact thing for you. And it don't mean that you it results in you coming from the dead or anything like that. It don't mean that. It ain't got to be that, that serious. But just in anything, bro, God will come and restore you, bro. He will. He just will, bro. And I'm just really tired of people. I just really am. I say the same thing every day, every day, every day. And people just don't listen. And I feel like if you want low vibration, just stay away from my channel. Stay out of my channel. Just stay away from these readings. These readings are about growth. You're not ready to heal, grow, or anything like that. Stay away from my channel. It's just period. It's just always something with y'all people. And they love to wait till the nighttime. They love to come out at night with this. You have a twin flame here that is so confused. This person is so afraid to even reach out to you because they feel like you could possibly be an enemy. This person don't trust nobody. But see, what this person don't know, you don't either. Somebody last name Reynolds. Somebody named Bryson. Aaron. You don't trust anyone either. So this little tit for tat bull crap that these twin flames are going through. It's just a waste of time. Maybe you should just try to trust. Because if not, you just won't. And that just is what it is. And if you ain't able or willing to trust or, or make a move, you need to get out of this person's way. Don't be trying to block love for them or block their opportunities because you can't move. And it's all out of fear. You just don't trust God. And if you don't trust God, you don't you don't trust nothing. You can't be trusted. Let me go see what all them cars look. They just flew on this floor. I'm just trying to tell you what the truth of the bro. Exchanging gifts in the reverse. Orphan reverse. Fork in the roll here. And then why? That's what I'm saying. Somebody has completely just... Let go of something here. And this is a soulmate of yours. This is a, a higher level soulmate, I feel. And then, too, you got some soulmates here that are causing illusions, bro. Somebody's trying to build blocks. They're trying to build a foundation with no blessings at all. They're stealing something from you. This person, this person right here, they're so guarded. This person has become so guarded. That they that this this person is literally gonna remain in the fork in the road. For a lot of y'all, you're not ever gonna come together with your person. Cause this person is just too stubborn. They've been through too much. But see, the way that they're treating you, they treating you like how they should be treating these karmies. 
You don't make people suffer for what other people did, bro. You miss out on good people. And that's on you. And then you're bitter for the rest of your life. Whose fault is that? That's your fault. deceit on the bottom of the deck. If you if you're gonna let envy and deceit, period, that's what I'm saying, bro. If you're gonna let that ruin your life and determine things, I feel like you just need to stay away from my channel, is what I'm saying. Because whoever you are, you're always in my readings, bro. And you got this negative energy attached to you, which is attaching to my collective. And I feel like you need to stay away from my channel. You need to just truly do because you you just you're indecisive and you're not ever going to move forward. And you're going to always blame everyone else. Even when there's nobody to blame, even when you're alone in this life with nobody, you're going to always blame everyone else. There's literally no one here to blame. You're in this world by yourself or you're doing something alone or you feel alone. There's nobody around you to blame. It's only you. Something is just completely over. And divine feminine, divine masculine, what I do want to say, those of you all who are willing to heal and be in the sun and who wants to come together with your person, don't give up. Don't just give up, bro. Things are not ever going to just be easy. I know it's, bro, I know that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? It would definitely be wonderful if we can just have something come to us easily. But that's just not how we go. Somebody is facing some financial constraints as well. And they're looking at you like you're the ticket out or something here. I don't feel like that's the case, bro. I feel like you're this woman, this man holding a coin, and somebody just wants your abundance, bro. Like I feel. They're financially constrained, not you. Our angel Uriel. There's the cornucopia and the indecision. Somebody also has a lot of money and they're like holding on really, really tight to something. And it's like they won't give you anything but the bare minimum. They won't. It's like this, this person feels like you want their money because everybody in their life has been after their money. But I feel like you have your own. So this person definitely got you misconstrued with some karmics. They're putting you in the same exact category as a karmic. This person right here. They were supposed to take action a long time ago, but this person is too busy, caught up in anxiety. Like I said, this person is in love with you. This is your actual person, but they're not going to move forward. So you need to keep it moving, though, is what I'm saying. I don't care if you go back or sideways, up or down. You need to move, bro, because you are definitely in this person's way. You are stuck on stupid in this energy, and you're not going to do anything. You're a coward. First and foremost, you're running away from your actual problems. You have not even closed out karmic cycles. And you got the nerve to be trying to um, hold this energy hostage or something. You're always in my readings. You need to stay out of my readings. And I'm saying that in the most polite way I can. Stay out of my readings. The world card, it's over. You got all this money, go enjoy it. Since that's what means the most to you, go and enjoy your money, honey. And stay out of this person's life. You're a freaking loser, bro. Straight up with this. The temple path. This person knows dang on well that they're supposed to be doing something, but they're not moving forward. So what is the point of doing anything? This person has completely let these people ruin their life. Archangel Gabriel, they can't trust anybody. And they feel like they're going to take that out on you. And if they do try to come around you, they're going to tiptoe and walk on eggshells. Man, no. Nah, who wants to live like that? Let this person live like that on their own. Let them be in and out of bed with different people or whatever the case may be. Whatever they do to whatever. This person feels like something is all about money. This person is looking at you like you're just all about what they got. When you have everything that you need already. The Most High God definitely has provided for you and always will. What I said. Caring connections. Deceit. 
This person is defeated from karmic energy. This person has been defeated by the devil, period. But it's not you. You're still fighting. You're still in this thing. You're still going to fight. You are attached to being a winner. And this person is attached to you. They look at you to get strength and then still end up weak. How? You have to be strong on your own. This person is not going to fight your battles for you. And you're not going to use them as a punching bag either. Divine Feminine Masculine, you have victory here. Something is being balanced out. While this person thinks you need their money, honey, you got your own door to value. You don't need anything from this person. That's where they got things a little flipped. Game over. This person really got you messed up. And it's like they will forever they will forever be looking out the corner of their eye, sleeping with one eye open with you or something like that. I mean, yeah, don't trust nobody. But why trust somebody? That's what I'm saying. What you in the bed with somebody for if you got to do all of that? Why are you in the house with someone when you got to do all of that? If you can't trust somebody, you just don't need to be around them. Yeah, I like your personality, but I really don't trust you. So what are you around for? What are you gaining by being around someone that you don't trust? You need to question your own motives here. Somebody truly needs to question their own motives. Like I said, fam, have patience, honey. It is somebody out in this world that will appreciate you for who you are and that won't be trying to judge you based off of the mistakes of someone else. And in fact, these were not mistakes. These were planned intentions that this person's family had for them or something. I feel like you're going through the same exact thing. This person don't know what it is that you truly been through. They're just on the outside looking and say, oh, yeah, I can relate. But, yeah, you really don't know how much. This person's family trying to kill them off of insurance money, too. What are you talking about? This person has been scarred and hurt as well. But they're not willing to keep taking that with them throughout their life. This person is healing and they're moving on. And it's energies like you that I really don't like. You just steadily in this person's energy. You're steadily wishing, hoping, and praying for this person. And then when you got all access to reach out to them, don't your fingers work? Your ears work, right? You're in here listening. After I told you to get out of my reading, you're still in here. You got every, you, you, you are able-bodied is what I heard. Somebody in this energy is able-bodied to contact you or something like that, and they just won't. And then they wonder why they're lonely. They wonder why there ain't nothing going right in their life. You got all your money, like I said. Enjoy it and leave this person alone because you don't got it all. You ain't got no love. Don't nobody love you. This, this, this person is around a bunch of people that did nothing but hate them, that got nothing but envy. They're greedy people. These people are just selfish, outrageous, ratchet. Anything that you can think of, that's low vibing. That's what these people are that this person is attached to. And they still not, have not uh, uh, detached. This person will sit up here and trust a snake. They will sit up here and trust a snake to slither around them at night. This person goes to sleep with a snake. And this is not no pet. What is you talking about? This divine feminine or this masculine has a whole different contract with somebody else. It ain't you. You slept on your chance with this person. Oh, well. You need to simply move around right here. I just really feel like that. And you're in this person's energy constantly. And you're making them feel like they doing something wrong. Like they don't deserve love. Yes, they do. You don't have to give it to them. It's a spiritual union here. Heart shocker. This person, trust me, it's many people that want this person that will treat them properly. And not sit back and be narcissistic trying to control and manipulate things in their energy. Because you definitely are doing energy work on this person. You're doing energy work all the time on this person. And Spirit said that's the truth of the rule. You're doing, you're doing spells on this person to block them from love and from anything else. You're also stalking them too. You're paying people to watch this person and mess up anything new that they may even try to attempt to have. You're in the shadows. You are just really losing. Whoever this is, divine, feminine, masculine, they are losing. This person is going through something. And instead of addressing it and healing it, go get a therapist or something. Go do something. Because whatever this is, you obviously can't handle it. Because you have not reached out to my dad. If you were close to my dad, you would not be in this kind of slump.
What else is here? This person is just simply annoying. And whoever this is, this is like, this is your person or something. I feel like you're going to end up rejoicing and celebrating with someone else. This person has completely blew their chance with you. Completely. Like I said, throat chakra reverse. They can say something, but this person ain't. They not saying anything. They're too busy being in conflict and defeat. But you ain't doing too bad, right? You got your money. Destiny. That's all y'all folk care about these days is money. You don't give a dang about no love, honey. You don't care who truly love you or not. You don't even know how to discern real love. Because you ain't never had it. Solar plexus chakra. Now you think this divine feminine or this masculine is your enemy? How? You're the one that's being um, manipulated. You're the perpetrator. What are you talking about? It's you. You're your own downfall. Mental conflict. Look at this person. Looking stupid. Feeling stupid. Being stupid. And I heard they smart as a will. This person's so smart, they stupid. This person does not know how to use their discernment. Simply. I mean, spell work or not, bro. It's just point blank period. When God keeps telling you something over and over, showing you something over and over again, it's just up to you. <laughs> Excuse me. This person being so beaten and battered by their own family that they don't even believe God. They, they don't even believe none God said. What I said, child? Choose wisely, triumphant success, emotional withdrawal, bro. All these witches in this energy, this is what they wanted to happen. They wanted you to be able not to use your discernment when it comes to real love, recognition, and reward. Like I said, they didn't want you to be able to recognize what real love truly was and actually get the reward. What you think they were doing all of this for? This person won't even take a chance. Because they feel like you just like everybody else. If you feel like this person is just like everybody else, move along then. That's what I'm saying. Move along, bro. Instead of doing all these sing-along rituals and chanting this person's name and all of that. Yeah. Because you've definitely been doing it. Financial and material changes. You need to just move along right here, Shouty. You really do. It, it's too much going on in this world, honey. It's people that's really healing. They're really moving forward and it's idiots like you that remain in people's energetic field knowing that you don't want anything for them you're just confused and you're confused by yourself you're the only one that's confused and you are literally in this person's way like you're literally in their energy you have to release fear divine family masculine because whatever this is it ain't no spiritual union anyway you're not going to unite with this person because this person will never trust you. And even if you did unite with them, it would never work. Because they'll always, in the back of their mind, feel like you're going to put something in their pool or something like that. Universe. And what's the sense of living like that? This person going to always be like that. New beginnings in the reverse. They're not moving on. This, this person does not have a new beginning. Like they messed it up or something. Or this is you. What else is here, Dad? Thank you very much for the messages. Man, y'all got people stealing from y'all in many different ways. I feel like this person got hope for a good future. They pray for a good future. But then when it comes to them taking action to create a good future, they don't make any movement. That's why they're stuck. The only reason why this person is stuck is because of their self, period. There's positive movement forward here. And you are not, like I said, you are not deceiving. Deception and envy reverse. You are not with the devil energy. You're simply winning. And this person right here does not know how to discern. They don't know how to discern. That's what it is. Memories of love. You could even know who this person is. For a lot of y'all, this is somebody that wants to return into your life. But they had been so beaten up. And somebody could have literally gotten beaten up. Like, literally. Somebody was trying to frame you. Acting like you set them up or something. And you did not divine feminine masculine. It's somebody karmic playing games in this energy. It's just as simple and plain right here. Something is just so cut and dry. Like, just leave this person alone. Stay out of their energy. Stop watching them. Stop checking their social media posts. You need to go and do something else because you're truly being judged. And it's a judge. I'm telling you, bro. Just like your family trying to slip out the energy. No, bring that ass back here. What are you talking about? We know y'all hoes and niggas is stealing. You're stealing money. And whoever you are, fam, masculine... You definitely 
is finna receive some kind of sudden wealth, these two people are about to go to prison, period, bro. Whatever they were working on, shawty. They were working with a wealthy judge or something. This person was definitely covering for them. Yep, I can't make it up. Look at occupation here. You got occupation coming out. You got message and you got bad health. I'm telling you, you're going to get a message about this. Your family is in bad health. Somebody is trying to run from something. They're just trying to run. And then I can't stand a coward. Y'all folk be doing all this stuff in the background and then you got the nerve to want to run? Man, come on, bro. No, bro. Courtship here. Privileged lady in high honor. This person this person don't even understand. Bro, this, whoever this person is, bro, this person don't even understand the abundance that comes with this relationship. But like I said, they'll never trust you, so it ain't no relationship. It, it'll never go anywhere. This person is going to be in despair. You are literally the sudden wealth. This person think they rich or they got money. Nah, baby, you ain't got nothing until you, until you with this feminine or this masculine. You ain't got nothing. Straight up. This person's spiritual team even been protecting your weak ass. This person's spiritual team has literally been protecting you. Simply because I feel like they had hopes that you were going to do the right shit and you didn't. They spiritual team was revealing things to you about your family and the people around you because you was not listening to your spiritual team. You wasn't listening. You just wasn't listening. It took too many people to get your attention. To even get your attention. They couldn't keep your attention. This person right here wouldn't know deaf if it was staring them right in the face. Because this person doesn't have any discernment. They lack discernment. And this is why so many people were able to screw them over. This feminine is of high value. This man is of high value. And trust and believe me, it's a lot of people here that want to be with them. You are not the only king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. You're not the only person that owns a business, honey. You're not the only person that's good looking. You're not the only person. Who do you think you is? What else is here? It's my name, Mario. Message your concern in house. A lot of y'all about to get a message your concern about your dang old house. This somebody has stole from you. Man, these people will do anything for a dollar and somewhere to stay, shawty. That's crazy. Wealthy man. You may get a concerning message from this wealthy man. Don't know. But it's something about your family been stealing from you, bro. Some main male, some main female here. Don't know who these people could be. But they definitely been living your life. Mature man, it's too many people out here. You got this judge out here. You got this privileged lady, this main male, wealthy man, this mature man. But they're coming up as false people. What else is here, Dad? Thank you very much for the messages. So my name definitely is Timothy. Unexpected income and great fortune in the reverse. These people knew about this unexpected income. And they thought it was going to bring them great fortune. No, it's not. For a lot of you guys, somebody has already stolen your money. But for most of you, even if they did steal it, you about to get it back or something. And see, some of you guys are just simply going to get something back tenfold in a different way. What I said, I heard instantaneously. Something going to be instant here. And these people are going to go right into poverty. Somebody knows for a fact that you're going from rags to riches, period. Sudden wealth again. This whole reading is nothing but nothing. This whole reading ain't about nothing but money and hatred and distrust, dishonesty. You nigga reach you people that don't know how to move on from anything. There's another person, main male, change. Child, there's another person. But see, spirit is saying that these people are all thieves. That's what spirit is saying. They're stealing or they did. my name veronica oh trust me they about to be wiped out don't worry about this do not even worry your pretty little head shawty it's my name sharon or shannon dante dante Diaz, patricia emilio and emily i keep picking up on this set of twins esmeralda i keep hearing them names and look mature woman it's too many people here it's just too many. Bro, this masculine 
this masculine energy has already been stabbed by their family. You've been stabbed by your family. I feel like somebody is currently being stolen from or somebody's currently plotting something, period. What I said, I told you they're going to jail. Something is ending immediately. Somebody is getting their shit through death, through jail, through whatever. However spirit need to extract them, they're leaving. It's like somebody got the nerve to keep continuously working on something in your energy. They keep doing work. And they feel like they're not doing any harm or something. I can't make it up. Toil and labor. They keep doing work. And they think they're not doing any harm. Courthouse here. Poverty. Message of concern. <clears throat> Judication in the reverse. Hold on. All these cars. I even know all these cars flipped over. Bro, I just can't make this up. Something's not going to these people's favor. They're thieves. Somebody is stealing. I'm telling you, these are thieves. All these people out here are stealing, I feel. Some kind of way. Energetically, whatever. This, whatever they, whatever. They're thieves. Just period. These that these them people that like to travel. They 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 be traveling a whole lot. Look, it's about great fortune change in your family. I'm telling you. You and this person is going through the same exact thing. Unexpected income. Child, please. It ain't nothing but money, 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 money these people worried about. And they feel like they're going to take your life for this. That's what I be talking about. It's just crazy to me. Another person. Look at the bottom of the deck. Unexpected income. Family. Great fortune. This is what I'm saying, fam. That's me. This is what I'm saying, shouty. These folks are some losing liars, bro. All these folks here, shouty. All of them. One. Two. Well, including all these witches and shit. I don't know how the fuck many witches is here, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fucking people out here, bro. Nine people. Nine. Including this judge, this lawyer, whoever. You know all of these people or you're familiar with them. What I said. Ten. It's a lot of people here. It's a lot of people in this energy, bro. A lot of them. And I'm not even exaggerating, bro. It's a lot of people here. And it's all stemming from energy. I mean, from envy. And yeah, energy too. These people might be envious of your energy solely. Like I said, bro, you got so many different people here, bro. It's crazy. Bro, it is just insane. How many people are in your energy? Dirt digging, bro. Looking for something, shouted. Just looking, just being nosy. Sheesh, bro. Somebody definitely is in Baltimore. It's not nice, Tiana. Rosemary is significant. Hindu. Hoodoo, voodoo, hoodoo, voodoo. Somebody doing a lot of hoodoo, voodoo in this energy here. A lot of it, and I mean they do it every day. Looking you up, they do. They go, they go do a spell, and they go look you up to see if it's working. They've been doing this for so long; it's like pot work, bro. Reflecting. Somebody's thinking of something now. They're thinking about all the bad choices that they made. Or they will be in this thinking energy in the future here. What else is here, Dad? Thank you very much. Waiting. Somebody is... This is jail. This, I'm picking up jail. Somebody's just waiting, reflecting, thinking about something that they did. I'm telling you, they're going to jail. Your light irritates their demons. Man, your family is on bull crap, bro. And then, too, this person is, too. Like I said, they're being threatened or, or they're in fear. It's something about this person. And whatever they're feeling, this person is projecting it onto you. You're not living in fear. You don't have a reason to. This person is living in fear. So they're projecting it onto you. And you, your, your energetic field could be so curvy, bro. Like, for real. Because it's 10 people in your energy. It's literally nine people out here on the board. And I seen another person at the bottom of the deck. So it's literally 10 or more people here. It's a lot of people. 
And it's not it's, it's not even including these witches and these warlocks. Somebody's cloud hungry and bankrupt. That's just what I'm saying. That's this karmic energy. That's not your energy. This person got you messed up with a karmic or something. And then they act like they hurting you. This person act like they hurting you by not reaching out to you because they don't trust nobody. This person is hurting they self. It ain't got nothing to do with you. You're going to move on regardless. Regardless of what this person chooses to do, whether they choose to woman up or man up and, and take action and do something, I mean, you're still going to move forward with or without them. So, I mean, it, I feel like if they seen you with somebody else, oh, trust me, they would be heartbroken. You wouldn't be. Why would you be heartbroken? A lot of y'all don't even know who your person is. So, therefore, you wouldn't even know if they're dating or if you would even care because you don't even know who they are. Some of these people know who you are like they literally do. And it's like you'll know who it is. You will know who the person is that's for you. Somebody in this energy knows who they person is and you just cannot treat them. Boss daddy in the reverse. Child, look. This person ain't truly no boss. They don't truly have control over their own life. Because they have let whoever these people is control them for years. And they're still oppressed. This person is institutionalized by a family dynamic is what I heard. What else is here, Dad? Thank you. That's too many. What else is here? I've seen child services. So it's definitely something here about children. Somebody is wanting to take someone's kids from them. Man, I ain't even got time. I don't even feel like talking about that. These people on board. Somebody's fake flexing. This person trying to act like they don't love you or something or that they don't know or, or that they're just completely unaware. I guess living in illusions is part of this person's life path or something. They Their whole life has been an illusion and they continue to live in illusions by feeling like, you know, everybody is out to get them or something. That's not the truth. I feel like these people may be out to get them, but I don't feel like you are. And see, this person had a one, one more chance or something. This person had one more chance. They really did, and they blew it. This person lost their chance with you or something. They missed out by just not being able to trust or something or, or playing games. And now they're curious about you looking stupid. Somebody laying down in Washington or somebody's in Washington. Or somebody watching something. Force her. This person going to see you with somebody else and get so mad. Then they going to try to come in and make a move. Child, no. This person watches you all the time. And your family, bro, when I tell you these people about it, this, they karma is so horrible. It's crazy. This is horrifying karma. Like I said, this person so smart. They stupid. Low IQ. Somebody in this energy so smart, they're dumb. And see, what I'm trying to pick up is, too, why your family think that they just going to get away with these murder plots? Somebody has all of this on document. Your family may not be saying anything to you. Why would they? You were the target. Why would they tell you why every single time they make a move, it's because they're running? Extra triggered. Why would they tell you that? These people don't like to stay in the same place because it's definitely a chance that the feds gonna kick in their door. And somebody is trying to protect someone crying over you. Somebody might have literally just up and left somewhere or up and moved or something like that. It's because somebody is trying to protect them because this judge is not on the bench anymore. This lawyer does not, they, they got dismissed or something. They got disbarred. Acting cold. It's something here about somebody not protecting someone anymore. It's not because they don't want to. It's because they can't. There was somebody definitely. This 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 um, impersonator was ignoring the fact that the feds was in the energy. Maybe they thought that because they were doing stuff in your name. They thought that the feds was going to come looking after you only or something. I feel like the feds was investigating whoever you are. Because they were doing so much criminal things in your name. But what they didn't realize was that that wasn't actually you. 
they forgot about video recordings, timestamps, IP addresses, and things like that, and witnesses. What I said. They forgot about all of that. And they did something too quickly here. Now their head is in the clouds. This person feels stupid. For those of you all who already know about this inheritance here, oh, you're definitely about to be subpoenaed to come to court or something here. Dirt digging. Somebody been digging deeper into a situation than you realize. They're just not saying anything. I heard there's nothing to say. It's only things to do. What I said. Yep. Inside scoop reverse. This right here is like the page of swords. But it's in the reverse. So I feel like somebody is done with some kind of investigation or there's an investigation wrapping up. Bro, when I tell you this judge is getting they shit, they are. Or they done already got they shit. I know I had mentioned that in another reading. It's a lot of cyberbullying here too. If you were being cyberbullied, gang stalked, whatever the case may be, you're about to find out why. You got some people that are truly watching your every move here. They, they, they keep up with every move that you make only because they need to be able to move in front of you. Like they need to make a move ahead of you. Now they're confused because they don't know where you went is what I heard. Somebody thought they were keeping track of you or something and they lost track of you. Wow. Yep, they tripping now. Somebody's definitely tripping on you. How did they make it through that? How? How? How did they just get away like a ghost? Romantic love affair. I told you they sending people in. Trying to sleep with you or something. You're not falling for it. They're haunted, bro. I'm telling you, bro, this is not going to end well for somebody. Somebody's definitely going to jail. Clarify, please. Please, Dad. I'm telling you somebody's going to jail. Yeah, that's real. It's this impersonator. They're going right to prison. This person will spend the rest of their life in prison. It's, it's, it's a whole lot that this person did to you. That's real. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, this person going right to prison. Call the case. <clears throat> and it's like something had just been building, 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 building up on these people. And it's like they were going to flip everything on you, bro. These, these people were literally going to flip everything on you. That is so messed up, bro. Because I'm telling you what the heck they was planning. They were doing all of this stuff in the background. And they had this judge or this lawyer or judge and lawyer, police officer, whomever protecting them they they literally had people protecting them shouting and you will be wondering like dang why they always getting out of something not that you know they're favored they're not favored at all they're getting out of they're getting away with some or they got away with some because of this judge it wasn't because you didn't deserve justice it was because they got a whole judge that's supposed to be delivering justice keeping you blocked keeping you stuck and something got old so i feel like spirit got rid of these folk resources Spirit got rid of these hoes and niggas' resources right here. I told y'all these folks be getting their shit in ways they never thought that they didn't need or something. Like, people people be thinking like, oh, I ain't got nothing to lose. Or, yeah, you, you, you feel like you ain't got nothing to lose until you lose that shit. What I said, fam, that's me. This person that you dealing with is a coward, though. This person is a freaking coward. And they're, they're just weak, bro. This person is so weak, it's annoying. But they still won't get out your business. That's what I'm saying. This person is confused about who you are. So they're playing it safe, which I get. But see, my thing is, why don't you move around? You need to, you need to move on with your life, honey. And stay out of this person's life. You don't need to check on them or anything like that. They're just fine. You don't need to concern yourself about this person at all. They're fine. If anything harmful is in the way, it's you. You, this person should be worried about you. You would end up hurting this person because you're hurt and you're never going to heal. What I said, you are too beaten. You are too broken. And you're not even willing to reach out to the father and help yourself. 
but you sit back and act like you talk to my dad. You don't. You are so far away from my dad, it's a shame. You need to get your life together. Get out of this person's way, honey. Because whatever this is, all of this spell work that you yourself have been doing on this person, what you feel like is innocent spell work. Oh, I just want them. I don't want them to be with anybody else because they my person and I love them. Yeah, that's not going to work. Because if that were to work, that means that this person would lose. And they, this is not a loser. You are. This person is not going to lose anything. So, yeah. That's what I feel like, family. That's when y'all need to think twice about these people that y'all waiting for to come back or whatever the case may be. But let these folk go on about their life. I wouldn't even think about these fools right here. Whoever these people is, let them just go on on on. Because I'm telling you, the most high is about to expose all of these people for who they are. What I said, who they've always been. I heard who they have turned into. We. I'm going to leave it right here. Remember that God loves you and so do I. Bye, you guys.